Welcome back, guys. What? No, thank you. Can you repeat? Welcome back, guys, to another race. And it's round number nine today for the Belgium Grand Prix in season two of our return to glory with McLaren. Last time out, it was a very difficult race. The first race that uh, we didn't win, amazingly. We've won every single race up until the last episode. Be sure to go check that one out before you see uh, this one then, I guess, for that, to see how that occurred, basically. I'm going to put half of it down altered to the fact that I was quite ill when I recorded that. Um, and to be honest, I think, honestly, did cloud my judgment in terms of the managing we were doing. But also at the same time, equally, it's just the, you know, the the very weird situation we're in with that wet race, the tyre wear, whatever the case, we'll put it behind us. And as any good team principal and manager should do, we just move our team and our drivers on to the next race here at Spa. We've still got, you know, a lead in the championship. It's still 1-2 but it's just about ironing out a mistake like that. Because although that was, um, you know, it was okay, it's, it was quite a big howler of an episode, really. Like, we can't have multiple of those kind of races. We can afford to, you know, not win. We can afford to be third place or, you know, uh, uh, two top fives. But the fact that Lando didn't even get into the points in that episode and Vettel only recovered to P6, that was a, a big no-no that we can't have if we want to try and take this across, across the line. Um, and... What the? Okay, bloody hell. Oh my god. I looked at that left hand side. I saw P1 Red Bull and McLaren 10 with two. And I thought, have we been absolutely done for like spying or something like Spygate 2.0? <laughs> it's the pit stop championship. Oh, but I had a heart attack. Just then, I had a heart. Can you imagine if they had that in the game? Like a Spygate storyline. Two point, all chat constructors points deducted. Bloody hell. Oh, God. Okay, the game's giving me a heart attack. We're ready to go then. We're ready to go. Four days till the, the Belgium GP in game. Let's just get straight into it. And we can't actually get straight into it because both cars actually have a suspension. Um, I think our third suspension, that is, that we don't have any parts to swap out. So we need to, well, either revert to our old suspension or we need to make two. But, ah, uh, seven in 14 days time. That's frustrating. Right. We should probably make three of these. Um, and if I, ru well, actually, if I do two and rush them, five and, nah, that's not. Even rushing them won't get them done in time for Belgium. Uh, okay, yeah, we are taking a step backwards because on that. Yeah, we are taking a step backwards in some low speed and high speed. Yeah, we don't have enough. I mean, I could emergency manufacture. I could do that. But how much is that going to really cost us? I want to be careful about doing these kind of emergency things. Like, let's look at the finances. Hang on. Let, let's, 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 let's wait a moment. What's the cost gap looking like? Right, we've got 77 million left. We're about, what, halfway through the season? Are we halfway through the season? Um... We're just about... How many rounds have we done? We, well, it's round nine. So we are we are just over halfway through this. I think we could probably afford to do emergency. I, I know. I've just... I've, oh, I've just spent money and now I'm going to get a refund of 900. So I've, I'm going to lose 400k just by refunding this. Now let's firm it. Let's firm the worst suspension. We're just going to have to deal with it. We're going to have to deal with it. And we've got a stark reminder of it's only six months halfway through the season uh, until the end of this one where Tom Stallard's contract is ending. Randeep Singh's contract is ending. And also Sebastian Vettel. We only signed him for one season. That contract is ending. So we're going to have to keep an eye on that. And at some point, you know get on to that kind of admin but for now we're just going to concentrate on the racing let's actually now finally get into the business so practice very interesting ferrari up there williams have been up there consistently albon sonoda here in fp3 p4 and 6 but in fp1 and 2 um one of them was in first and in fp2 i think both of them were one two for williams so long run pace looking quite good for williams maybe we're we're looking all right i think definitely the suspension 
is definitely going to affect things. So, again, this might be another difficult race for us. I'm hoping not a catastrophic one like Silverstone was in relation, in context and contrast to how well we've done so far this season. I think we can still probably be challenging up there for the top spot. But a win, again, might be difficult. But I think just even aiming for a podium would be much better than the disaster class of last race, basically. And satisfaction-wise, both on 95% set up, so that's good. I think there is some rain, maybe, involved for this Saturday coming up, though, at Spa. So um, we'll have to watch out for that. I think it's thankfully dry, though, for the race, because it seems like after the patch, the wet weather racing is a lot harder. Yeah, it's moderate rain for the re uh, for Quali. Clear skies for Sunday. That's calm. We can deal with that. All right, the water is only going to go up, gonna go up in the middle of this session, so we'll send them out early now. Uh, and then maybe another run at the end because it looks like you can see there might get to full wets and then down here Even though the rain we saw this last episode even though it's gonna rain less It still may be too wet for inters at the end So I'd rather just send them out on inters now get that bank lap in as uh, the Ferraris have thought the same because they're both coming out as well and a lot of people, actually, to be honest. So I think all of us trying to get a bank lap in. And as bank laps go, uh, hard to tell how that is until other people cross the line. But Vettel nearly four tenths off Lando. Uh, seems about the kind of same sort of gap. Really, Leclerc's up there, though. Let's see what the Ferraris both do. Um, Sainz quite slow, actually. Alonso looks slower than us. So that's quite promising, actually. But what are Red Bull going to do? Where are they? They're in ta they're in tandem. Verstappen getting, uh, well, probably getting blocked at this point. But I I I'm sure maybe a little bit of a toe. But both of the Red Bulls pretty much inside of each other through, the, through Blanchimont across the line. And they're only P7 and 8. So, yeah, very much. Uh, I'm sure they both slowed each other up there. Well, that's pretty good for, for old suspension. I thought the suspension was going to make a big difference. Um, you know, it's hard to tell. Maybe, maybe I'm being silly for saying it would have been a big difference, but it's hard to tell in this game. You really can't, you know, you, you never know how much one car part is going to make the difference here. Bit of a shame for Albon in P16 there after the General Williams pace uh, in practice. I think, you know, I think they're quick in the dry. In the wet, not not as much, clearly. Sonoda P9. So, that'll be a bit of a shame for them if they get stuck in traffic for the race. Because, honestly, um, it'd be quite quite crazy to see Williams flying up there. You know, so far in the series, apart from us at McLaren, we haven't really seen that much change in the pecking order. Like, Red Bull is still the ones challenging us nearest. Ferrari are there or thereabouts, but not really. I suppose Mercedes got worse than they have in real life. And Aston have been there in little flashes. But we haven't seen any dramatic changes in pecking order. So, you know, seeing someone like Williams up there would be quite cool. And obviously, last episode, um, Sonoda, wasn't it? Did very, very well. Um, uh, yeah, I think, what was it? Top top five for Sonoda? Top fives uh, uh, at, at the British Grand Prix. So very, very good stuff for him uh, and Williams. The track's wet now. It's going to get to damp. But I think, we're, I think we're fine. I think we should be fine. Um, I think everyone's still out there on full wets, I think. No, they're back on inters. Okay, fair enough. I think we're fine, though. We'll, we should be good. Leclerc and Russell pop in some good times. Vettel down to P7, eight tenths off. That's a little worrying, but no one else massively improving, though. But Leclerc and Russell coming out of nowhere. Maybe they just got a really clean run. Just a great lap to be three tenths ahead of Lando. So there's clearly a bit more pace to find out there, but we've only done one lap, so... There's more to come, I think, as we go through the sessions. And Q2 is going to be full wet, full wet, going to inters and maybe dry at the end. So let's just hold fire. Let's hold fire and just wait. Also, I want to point out, I didn't actually realize this, but I just saw it on that splash screen as we load in. It's actually ATA qualifying here for Spa, uh, like it was in Season 1, I think. So when we get to dry, that dry period, if we do, now. we'll have to go on mediums, um, I think. So... Like, if I go here, yeah, we have to go on mediums. So that'll be a little bit intriguing to see how the mediums do on a bit of a damp, drying track. But for now, I think we just sit tight. They're going on full wets. Minimum, we're waiting for intermediates in this middle period. But I reckon cheeky little dry tyre right at the end. Don't, no need to risk risk a crash or anything like that by going out right now. Okay, track's dry now. Track dries now. So let's just wait till it gets even better because grip's pretty low. So grip's got to come up a little bit. So let's just wait. Let me get let me get the um, let me get the the tire ready. So medium. I'm gonna do two laps without any cooldowns. Two laps, no cooldowns. Mediums. Gonna this, this time, unlike last episode, make sure I do the right one. Probably need about 
around Spa. What is it? Like a 130 lap. So we need 130 to three minutes out lap of, you know, two minutes. So we need five minutes-ish. So I'll wait till five minutes and then we'll go for our lap. And track grip's still pretty low. So it's not going to be the most ideal thing ever. But I think we have also a bit of a clear track here. Yes, look at this. Look at this. A lot of clear track. So let's go... Mm, oh, behind. Oh, okay, a lot of cars. Right, right. Okay, let's go behind Russell here. Both cars out now. There we go. They're a bit close together, but it is what it is. Right, they're out. Right now, we're P14 and 15, so this is a risk, but it's a risk we're willing to take as they do cross the line in time for that second flying lap. At the moment, Vettel's ahead of Lando because he's ahead on track, so I imagine Lando's getting a little bit of dirty air from Seb, but at the same time, maybe a little bit of a toe, but I think this being this close... He's definitely getting more dirty air than actual benefit. So, in hindsight, with 40 seconds to play, play around with. Oh, massive traffic. Lando. Oh, wow. Horrendous traffic. 30 seconds left. I could have definitely waited 20 seconds and then put Lando out. But both of them hit traffic on the second flyer. So, it won't matter. But I think they've both got a lap in. That should be fine for the top 10, I hope. I mean, checker flag's fallen. And... Yeah, I think we're all, all good. We're all good. All fine. So, okay, no, drama so averted. Sonoda does get through into the top 10 for Williams. And unfortunately, Albon got knocked out already in Q2. Sainz has been knocked out. And Alonso. That's pretty big. The two Spaniards, especially Alonso. He's been rapid a few times this season. Also on the Ferraris being out. That's pretty big. Uh, and Perez tops the session. In the, so, whilst Perez tops, Alonso P11. That's a bit of a shocker from Fernando. That's a, that's a bit a bit of a bit of a dramatic one there. Um, but we're looking all right. We're looking all right. It's very, very close though, I must say. I must say. So Q3 could be pretty tasty on the soft tyre for everyone. Right, setting them both out and Vettel's got acres of space. Lando's just got ahead of this, this pack of Ocon and Perez. So that's good as well. And there's a big gap there between them two. So they won't hold each other up this time. And they're on two flying laps. Let's see how they do. Oh, tracks changed the data. I didn't see this. Oh my God, I didn't see this. I didn't see the track was going to be damp. Otherwise, I wouldn't fuel them for two flying laps. I would have done one flying lap. Because technically now, maybe they overfueled for that one good lap. And it is very dark and it's it's raining. So this is it. This is probably going to be it then. Vettel right now. Vettel's gone quite... Oh my god. He's gone 1.4 seconds quicker than Lando. Sending him out like 30 seconds earlier. So, ironically, I, I wanted to learn from my Q2 mistake, and I waited to send Lando out, because I thought, okay, let's not hold him up. But the 30-second difference has lost him 1.4 seconds, and everyone else is yet to set their laps, and it's, it's rapidly changed. It's gone from bone dry to, like, full wet, pretty much. Like 2.3 millimeters. So this could well guarantee Sebastian Vettel pole position. It'll be a 1-2 for our team, though. Uh, a very weird one, too, with 1.4 seconds uh, difference there. But wow, 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 wow. What a return to form for us, then, in qualifying here. Make it up for Silverstone. And Red Bull down in P5 and 6. Perez, third place, doing well. Ocon's done amazingly in the Alpine to be P4. But honestly, it was just about where you were on circuit. I should call them in now. There's no point staying out. Uh, call in, call in. Uh, yeah, it's just about who was out there first. And that was Sebastian Vettel. That, that, that gap there is the difference of 1.4. Ironically, I could have actually screw, screwed Lando over and sent him directly behind Seb. And he would have done better than he has done now. So, it's a funny, funny, funny how things work out like that. But, there you go. Sebastian Vettel on pole position for the Belgium Grand Prix. And I think we're safe for a front row lockout. So strategy wise, it is a dry race. So I think, I think a one stop. I think, I think just keep the track position. And um, especially definitely with Seb, one stop. He can definitely pull off a one stop. Lando could also do that. He's equally just as good at being calm on his tires. Um, but maybe we play a bit of a game where we put Lando on a two stop. Just to play around a little bit, you know, just to maybe, I don't know, just mix it up and maybe give Vettel a bit of a, a, a guard, I guess, in P2, maybe, I don't know. Um, but I think a one-stop, soft to medium, so I reckon that's one of the recommended stops. I reckon he can pull it off. 
Although mediums to hards, there's only a 10 second difference there. And it gives us just a little bit more wiggle room in terms of tire wear. I say because there's only a 10 second difference. For now, I'm going to put land on the same strategy. But if I feel like we need to, I'll swap him over to two stop. Knowing that he's got, he, he's definitely got pace to do a two stop like we saw in Austria. We've got 44 laps ahead of us here in Spa as we get ready for the Belgian Grand Prix. As we get closer to the race, will the McLaren be fancying their chances in this one? They're on pole and it's well deserved. I'm looking forward to seeing what they can do. Right, let's get to it then. Get ready, it's the Belgian Grand Prix. Lights out. Right, here we go. Lights out from a front row lockout for McLaren. Looks like it's a good start for both our drivers into turn one. Lando is going for the early overtake. Vettel down to P2. Lando with the good overtake as we look back and uh, there's a whole gaggle of cars behind. Lando into first immediately stamping his authority on this race. Sebastian Vettel down to second. Ocon challenging for third place. He's going to have a nosebleed in that Alpine at the moment. I hope Seb can stay ahead. Please stay ahead of these guys. Don't let a dive bomb happen here, please. Okay, let's go aggressive just to stay ahead of these guys. Right, we're pushing hard because Ocon in the Alpine, he's slower. He's in a slower car, so he's going to be a bottleneck. We've already broken DRS a lap early from the Alpine. Ocon could be a blessing in disguise for us just to hold everyone back. So at this point, we push, push, push just to try and build that gap. Right, Perez... Perez is past Ocon as Joe has spun at turn eight. So Perez might be a threat for us. But the Sauber here spinning down the right hander there. So uh, right, Ocon's been overtaken. So now, now we need to maybe push again. So I'm going to take them off, avoid high risk curves. Let's push a bit more. Fuel wise, we've burned a lot of fuel here. So we need to be we need to be wary of that. At the moment, Seb's got DRS off Lando. So hopefully Lando's DRS will protect us versus Perez. Ocon is going to continue just to be slow and hold up every other car until he gets overtaken uh, to the point where he's now down back around P11 where Gasly is. Sonoda again doing very well to stick on the back of uh, Piastri. And Verstappen looking to make the move on Ocon in towards a Rouge. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Lovely move by Max Verstappen on the outside of Ocon. And meanwhile, Seb, Seb goes for the overtake on Lando Norris with DRS. He's into P1. Okay. Okay. I, I've not got them on anything. Like, they're free to race. And Seb, on his own accord, has just gone and sent it. Right. Tires overheating a little bit. We need to... Okay, I need to watch this out again. Lap six. And Perez is there. So far, this DRS strategy is working for us. Verstappen's now past Piastri's, but oh, Ocon's down to P7. That's woeful, right? So Sonoda's there. So the, the two Red Bulls now have clean air, and Verstappen's not too far off Perez. So this is becoming a four-way fight here. Um, I ooh, I don't really know what to do. We're still trying to get to this one stop. So for now, I think going to have to go avoid high-risk curbs and just hope that we have enough to defend Perez, I guess, with DRS. Right and then. Perez is past us. Perez is past us in a now flash. In a one. flash. I started fast-forwarding because I thought, oh, it'll be ages. He's overtaken Lando here. And I think he's done... I think he might... Oh, no. He gets, I think, Vettel on the exit here. I thought he was going to do a double dive bomb. But I think he just gets Seb straight away on the Kemmel straight then. So he's passed now. What tyres are they on? They're on hards. Okay. They're on hards. Oh, that means they're going to be a quicker tyre at the end. Bloody hell. Um, well, we definitely need to take these to a one-stop then. And Verstappen now has overtaken us. The pace these guys have is actually quite mad. Are we, we're literally actually getting a challenge now properly. We're just... We're, we're, we're not that flat out quick enough just to do avoid high-risk curbs and protect the tyres as much as we want. We're going to have to actually push because Sonoda is not even too far off Lando now. Sonoda is actually attacking Lando. So as much as I don't want to, going to have to take them off high-risk curbs and push a bit, push a bit and try and manually protect those tyres a bit, maybe with the tyre temps. Use a bit of deploy as well, though, with the ERS battle assist. Let's try and chase back after Seb. We can keep up with them, for sure. We can keep up with these guys. And then with Lando, hopefully we stay ahead of Sonoda and Piastri. I feel like Sonoda, uh, I think he, the Williams car has a lot of straight line speed. 
Maybe not as much as us. I think we're still pretty damn good, of course. But I think if Sonoda annoys us, that's going to be pretty bad for our entire race. So I think we need to stay ahead of him for sure. Definitely no rain involved, but it looks a bit darker for some reason through that last sector. But, um, oh, Verstappen now is going for a move on Perez. And we've got to, we've got to stick. Well, we're the only ones on medium. So really, we've actually got to overtake these guys, you would say. All right, we're closing up now to these guys. Tire temp's getting a little bit hot. So we're going to bring those down. And, oh, Sonoda's passed us. Sonoda, he's going for the move. Yuki Sonoda, the Williams, he's only gone and attacked Lando Norris. And he's going to overtake him, maybe. What's happening here? Lando comes back at him. This is incredible. The Williams is legitimately quick enough to attack us. We've re-overtaken Sonoda, thankfully. That's good. We'll go back on aggression. Let's go. All right, pit, pit window's open at least. So that's at least good for us. But and our tire wear is pretty banging, to be honest. I think we can probably go longer in the race. I think we can go a lot longer in the race. Now, by the looks of things, we're at turn 15 now. They decide to Sonoda's just overtaken. He's overtaken Lando. I didn't even see the overtake. And he's overtaken... On hards! Wow, wow. It's taken three It's taken three races to Silverstone and four races now. But now the hard setting on this game is actually beating me up. What do we do? What do we do? What do we do? What, what's the play here? What's the play? We've got a lot of tire wear to see our pit windows open. So I think we just... We just go for it. Huh? Just go for it. Because at the rate we're going, we could probably go on softs at the end, which I think we probably should. Right, sit rep lap 20. Norris, I think, is nearly on the back of making the move on Seb. He's been behind him now for about a lap or so. Yellow flags. But we've been overtaken not only by Sonoda. Piastri. Oh, Piastri! <laughs> I just was about to say he overtook us, but he's locked up and gone wide. Oh, my God. That was unreal timing. I was literally saying the word Piastri, and he locked up and went deep there. So we're back ahead of the Red Bull then. We're back ahead of the Red Bull, unfortunately for him. Unfortunately for him. But that's un uh, unreal. But So right now, uh, what what's the race looking like? Verstappen leads the way. 1.8 to Perez. So they're quite close, but Verstappen again is looking pretty controlling. Sonoda 3.5 doing bits for Williams. And we're here P4 and 5. And Leclerc and Russell are actually gaining on us. So we need to pick up the pace. And to be honest, I think Seb's now too slow. And Lando needs to get this move done. And if he can't get it done here, I'm going to tell him on the next lap, just let him pass. Because he's actually failing to overtake him right Doesn't here. Matter. Doesn't matter. He's still... He's, okay, I need to let him by. He's just slowing us down, I think. I'm really sorry, Seb. I would love to just be like race. But right now, I think legitimately Vettel's holding Lando up. And there you go. The overtake's done naturally. Didn't even have to tell him to let him by. Lando's going to make that overtake, I think, and get up. Although they're so equally matched that maybe not. Let's see. No. Okay, there we go. Right. So Lando's pass naturally without me doing team orders, which I, which I like. It's a bit better if they get that done naturally. Um, and let's see what the pace is like for Lando. Let's, you know what, let's go full out attack with Lando in this clean air. Like push, 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 bit of deploy. Same for Seb, to be honest. Same for Seb. Let's see what they can both do. Because Seb's also now under pressure from Leclerc in the Ferrari. But we need to bridge this seven-second gap to Sonoda there. We need to get back into this range of this fight. And Vettel, Vettel got back past. <laughs> okay, fair play. Vettel, Vettel took me saying he was slower personally because he just re-overtook Lando straight away as I pushed them both. And this is now going from bad to worse for Piastri. Having locked up, he now crashes with the Alpine. Oh, no. Oh, dear. Ocon's race went from pretty okay to horrendous now with that crash of Piastri. And yes, yeah, Seb's got back ahead of Lando. He's defying. He's defying what I just said. I thought Lando was going to run off in the distance. Right, now Lando's ran off into the distance a little bit. Uh, Verstappen's... Oh, now, Verstappen locked up. Verstappen happened. locked up. Verstappen's pit. Right, and I think it's after this lockup, maybe, or no? Did he just lock up and lose? Oh, it's the same lockup as Piastri. And no, I thought, I thought Verstappen pit. Verstappen hasn't pit. He's just made a howler. Now he's pit after locking up. Perez is coming ahead of him now. Um, both have gone to soft. So they've gone hard soft. We've done medium soft. And we've... N we're, we're doing medium soft. And we were slower than the hard tire runners at the start of the race. The hard setting's actually now legitimately hard. Wow. Okay, fairs. So Sonoda's in the lead. Leclerc's overtaken both of us. 
Lando's got back ahead of Vettel. Lap 25, though, is very early for softs, I feel. Lando gets past the Ferrari. We're going to attack now because I feel like around lap 30 is when we're going to pit for the soft tyres. So we can afford to probably now batter these tyres a bit. Right, Verstappen sets fast after the Grand Prix, unsurprisingly. Going to pit Lando now for softs. Yeah, they're fine. Go 16 laps. That's all good. And with Seb, I'm going to try and defend as much as I can here and hold these guys up. Because if you can, that would be really great for Lando. That would be really good for Lando. So Lando's going to come in now onto the soft tyres. And Vettel stays out to try and block these guys a bit as much as he can with DRS aided. Come on, Seb. Seb leads the way now, leads the race ahead of the two guys who have pit a bit earlier than him. And he's still going well. He's still going well. Can he stay ahead of Perez here, though? That's the question. I think he might do, you know. Oh, go on, Seb. Go on. Massive for him. Really good. And this is going to be great for Lando to gain a bit of time on them. Right, Seb's done a great job. It's time to come in yourself, buddy. Time to come in yourself. Onto softs. In you come. In you come. He's done the job we needed him to do. Absolutely done it. To a, he's done it to a T there. He let them by just as he pits. Yellow flags. For Piastri again. Is Piastri in another another spot of bother? No, it's just Magnussen running wide. That's what the yellow was. That's what the yellow was. As Lando's P8 now. We're catching up to Alexander Albon. Don't really know. Let's see where everyone comes out. Is Albon pit yet? I'm not too sure. I have no idea. Right, Lando's right behind Albon. Has he pit yet, though? That's the question. Has he pit? Albon. Albon. Ha Wait, hang on. Albon has pit. Albon's pit. Wait, yellows for what? Oh, my God. What happened? Who spun? Who spun? Who spun? I don't know. Oh, Albon spun. <laughs> Albon spun. I was just talking about him, and he spun. Where's the replay? I've got... That, that's this, this, this is twice now I've, I've said someone's name. And <laughs> it's like, oh, dance for me, puppets. Dance. Um, right. Albon had pit. Albon had already pit. And he was ahead of us for a moment. My God, Williams have got some incre incredible pace. I mean, Sonoda's still there in P3, legitimately. Uh, it's Verstappen v Perez after Verstappen's lockup. We're chasing Leclerc. So minimum, we're looking to try and get P4 for Lando here. For Vettel, I would say trying to recover to P5 then and try and get Leclerc right at the end of the race. But I don't know. Four seconds to Sonoda. We've got better tyre wear right now on the softs. At least against Verstappen and Perez, who are now side by side. But Sonoda's got the same tyre wear as us. I actually don't think we make the podium here. I think Sonoda's got the podium, which is going to be incredible for Williams. But uh, these two are fighting then for the race lead. Verstappen looking to get the move on Al or on uh, Perez. Sorry, on Perez in the uh, in the Aston. Martin. I'm too too used to Albon being an Aston Martin in my uh, my team series. Verstappen, does he make the move here? No, not yet, not yet. Right, look uh, for Lando. Come on, let's get this move done. 15 laps to go. Let's get this move done. There we go. There we go. Lando is through ahead of Leclerc. Lovely. And I'm looking to hopefully get Seb ahead of uh, of Russell soon enough. Let's ride on board. Oh, yellows for what? What's that for? Okay, that was a random little replay. Oh, dear. oh, oh ma car multiple cars crashed. Who's going to be involved? Oh, don't. Oh, wait, no. It's the leaders. I thought it was going to be Piastri again. It's the leaders. Oh! Oh! What the? The two leaders have crashed. The two leaders have crashed. Verstappen's got a broken wing. And Perez as well. Will they pit? Well, they both got a lot of damage. Both of them got front wing damage. Perez has a penalty. Is Yuki Tsunoda about to go and get this lead of this race? And do we still have a chance of a podium then, that means, with Lando? All right, come on, Seb. Seb, where are you? Come on, let's get this move done. Bit of deploy, come on. Perez, is he going to come in? Do they come in? Perez, P Perez and Verstappen are in! <laughs> oh my god! Yuki Tsunoda! Yuki! Yuki Tsunoda! I can't believe it! It's the first time I'll celebrate another team leading. Williams! Oh my god, can you believe it? Williams lead the Belgium Grand Prix legitimately. This is unreal. And we are on a podium now with Lando. We could get P2. And to be honest, there's still enough 
unfortunately, to, to ruin Williams' party, there are enough laps. I reckon Lando could catch Yuki still. But let's first get Leclerc. And with Vettel, we need to get Russell. I've just hit my mic in excitement. I'm sorry. I can't contain myself. The drama, Mick. I love it. Red Bull implosion. Unbelievable. Lando's past Leclerc. He just overtook him there. Let's watch the overtake. Let's watch the overtake on the inside. Ooh, nice little slippery move there. Right. Sorry, Williams. On to maybe spoiling the party a bit. Although we are out of ERS. Oh, dear. I used all my ERS there, overtaking Leclerc. That's um, a little bit of a fumble. We're going to have to top up a little bit and harvest. Right. We're catching up to Russell and Albon with Vettel. Come on. Come on, Seb. I might even do a bit of manual ERS work here. Let's go. Let's go high fuel. We're attacking. Tire temps are good. Let's save ERS into turn one. Save ERS into turn one. DRS will be available. We'll harvest here. We'll harvest here. And then we'll go deploy. Come on. Let's go, 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 go. Push, man. Push. Push. Gain. No. Russell's making the move on Albono. Right. Let's uh, calm things down then. Right. Wait till the final sector. Right. Now. Deploy. Give everything you've got, Seb, through this sector. Get Albon on this back straight. He's struggling on his tyres. Come on, come on, come on. Get through, Seb. Come on. You can do this. On the outside of Blanchimon. No. Seb, mate, you need to make this overtake here. Please, man. Please. For the love of God. Finally into turn one. He's got it. He's got it. He's got it. Right. We push on. We push on. Right. We're on the back of Russell. We're deploying. Let's harvest a little bit, though, because we have been uh, deploying and pushing a little bit too much, maybe. So let's just ease this in because I still have my eyes on Leclerc, maybe. Leclerc's actually... Oh, Leclerc's kept up with Lando so far. Oh, he's gone for a move. Oh! Let's go for a bit of attack. Let's get away from Leclerc. Let's get away from Leclerc. If we, get, if we break the DRS from Leclerc, this little half a chance Seb can overtake Russell and then get Leclerc to get the double podium. Come on. Let's work as a team here. You just need to get past Russell here, though. He's a sitting duck with DRS, surely. With DRS here. Come on. We're gaining, gaining. Just not enough. Not enough gain there. And meanwhile, for Lando, we've broken DRS with Leclerc. Ten laps to go. 3.2 seconds. Sonoda's got about the same tyre wear as us. Let's now just keep Lando on pushing. Just for a couple of laps. Let's see if we can actually put a dent in uh, Sonoda's... Sonoda's lead right here. I can't believe I'm saying that. Yuki Sonoda leading the way in Golf Williams. And Seb's still not past Russell. Come on, mate. Come on. You have to get this move done now. Yes. Finally, Seb. Come on. Onwards and upwards towards Leclerc now, please. Fastest lap by Seb. Fastest lap by Seb. Come on. Come on. I wasn't even pushing him as hard as Lando and he set the fastest lap. Let's go. And Lando 2.3 now behind Sonoda. But I've got quite a bit of fuel to save for him and Seb, which I'm a little bit concerned about. That may just hinder us actually fully attacking Sonoda. I, I want to try and get this win. Uh, you know, if I, if I can, I will. But that fuel's concerning. I think tyre wear, we're fine. I think we can go attacking again. I'm just trying to keep them in a good Stay temperature. Close. As soon as they get to red, I'm bringing it down. I'm kind of not using avoid risk curbs because honestly, so far since the patch, I don't think it's actually as good now. I think they've nerfed it. So it's back to old fashioned kind of, you know, playing around with the temperatures, trying to keep them in a, in a good range manually. That fuel needs to come back though, that fuel. It needs to... Uh, that 0 0.3 is really worrying me. Right, Lando's just set a fast after the Grand Prix. He's 1.2 seconds behind Sonoda. Three laps to go. And that fuel is finally coming down. It's finally in a good region here. And Seb is closing in on Leclerc, 1.9. Both our drivers are heating up at the right time. Come on. Oh! Oh! No! What happened? What happened to Lando? Right, down at turn five. Oh, Lando was 1.2 seconds, 1.1 seconds behind. Oh, that's quite an he was catching Sonoda. And, and he's, that, he's, he's, he's been okay. spun by a back marker. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Where is he? Come on, oh, mate. Get, get off the runoff area. Get off the runoff area. He's down to fourth. <laughs> what? Who was it? Who? Who? Was it Magnussen? Hulkenberg's there. I think it was K-Mag. No, no. Wait, where's K-Mag? Mag no, it was Hulkenberg there. Ha Hulkenberg! You little... Let's, let's, let's assess the situation, because this is pretty mad. So, so clearly the F1 gods have a written script here today, and it's bloody Yuki Tsunoda in the Williams winning this race, because... 
Tell me how, okay? This is, let's rewatch it. As, I, as we rewatch it, I'll tell the story. So, this Vettel and Perez, they were leading the race. They crash, yep, and Sonoda takes the lead. Then we overtake Leclerc for second place, and we are 1.1 seconds behind Sonoda with two laps to go, and the F1 gods drop the bombshell of Hulkenberg, a lapped car, spinning Lando. So now Lando's gone from chasing Sonoda to ruin Williams' party for P1, down to P4, and Vettel is actually going to be our highest place driver as he looks to maybe last minute catch Leclerc, but maybe not. And is that a Lando penalty? Don't tell me he's got a penalty. What? We've got a penalty! For, for what? Hulkenberg's a backmarker. He should be jumping out of the way of him. Unbelievable FIA. Unbelievable. Kiss my teeth, FIA. Kiss my teeth. Right, I've got to push Lando flat out then. Because I need to try and get him as far ahead as possible. I think he... No, nah, well, Russell's going to get us with the okay, penalty. No, so we're going to finish P6. After all of that, we were maybe okay. going to go for the win with Lando. And in one lap left to go, yeah. we're now going to finish P5 maximum in this race. Unbelievable. Lap. Unbelievable. Uh, and Vettel's not going to get Leclerc. He's not closed up in time. We don't have the fuel. Leclerc's actually been quick enough here. We'll go deploy right at the end, but we're not even to get P2. Vettel's going to get a podium, which will be pretty sick for him uh, versus Lando. Lando's been absolutely duped. Obviously, in hindsight, let's be real. Verstappen's at, Verstappen and Piastri are out of the point. So Red Bull, our nearest challenges, zero points. Verstappen, Lando's nearest non-McLaren challenger, zero points. So in reality, it's still going to be a, a good race for him, picking up some good points for his championship lead. And really, let's be honest, the biggest story of this entire race is this man here, Japanese driver Yuki Tsunoda, driving for the British Williams, Gulf Williams outfit. He's going to win a bloody Grand Prix. I can't believe this. This is incredible stuff. This is incredible. Yuki Tsunoda coming through the final corners. Williams. Williams have returned to glory, baby. They have won the Belgium Grand Prix. Yuki Tsunoda is a race winner. Unreal. I wish I could hear his team radio. I honestly do. What a win for Yuki Tsunoda. Wow, wow, wow. Well, Seb gets uh, P3. Seb's back on the podium. Good stuff there. Lando, P4 will be probably P5 with the penalty, I'm guessing. So... After the dismal race at Silverstone, not scoring points, Lando can't bounce back for a podium even. It's just going to be some good points. Uh, but Seb can bounce back for a podium, which is great. But obviously, in hindsight, Red Bull, both of them, have a, have a having a shocking race. To be honest, Red Bull got so unlucky. Piastri got taken out by Ocon, and Verstappen got taken out by Perez. So it was neither of their faults, but they're out of the points. So overall, even though I'm disappointed with Lando's race... I can't believe we got a penalty for that crash with Hulkenberg. Um, he's still going to gain in the championship versus Verstappen, which is calm. And Seb is only going to marginally close up in, in the standings. And as a team, we gain points on Red Bull. So still a massive win, actually. And a massive turn of, of, of luck compared to Silverstone. But wow, Sonoda. We're, I literally said at the start of this episode, didn't I? We haven't seen much pecking order change. And in this, and the same episode later on, this happens. Unbelievable. That's so mad. That's so mad. Solid stuff from Vettel to get the P3. Solid, solid stuff. You know what? I'm, I'm here for this man. Look at that. That is a sight. That is a sight and a half. Yuki Tsunoda winning a Grand Prix in Williams, Golf Williams colours. Mad. Ah, fair play, fair play. They've outdone us all today. And the F1 gods wanted it to happen. You need a bit of luck sometimes to win in Formula 1. Even we needed some luck to win our first races for McLaren, remember? So fair play to Williams, fair play. Amazing. Yuki Tsunoda, race winner. But overall, Lando and Seb both gain on Max Verstappen there. 11 to 15 points. Constructors-wise, we gain 26 on Red Bull. So... 
still a massive, massive positive in this uh, in this race then for both drivers. So guys. I mean, for Yuki Tsunoda winning in a Williams, you have to be smashing that like button. Let me know what you thought in the comments below. If you're around here, then do get subscribed for weekly Formula 1 content. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.